do a little bit of comedy here. Anyway, this is one of my favorite performers here once again for, I guess, his last and final appearance on this number one backstage show. Please welcome your friend and mine, John Fox. Now, have you seen this commercial where the girls come out and compare their hands? <laughs> have you, sir? <laughs> You've been in these commercials where the girls come out and compare their hands. This is this ridiculous or what? Girls come out, these are my hands, these are my mom's. She's 30 years older and I'll bet you can't tell. <laughs> Cut it out, we're looking at hands. <laughs> we're gonna gamble, oh, let's take a look at those thighs. <laughs> <laughs> Plop those tits out, I'll tell you who's who. You can soak those in Dove all day. They're going to go. <laughs> I like commercials where to use Brand X. They don't tell anybody what Brand X is. They get these guys from, from Wickenburg or something. Yeah, I took the test. <laughs> Brushed my teeth three times a day for six weeks. And I found out Preparation H wasn't toothpaste. I felt like a big asshole. <laughs> One guy thought it was suntan lotion. <laughs> He's only this fucking big. <laughs> but he ain't got pimples no more. <laughs> oh, look at that. You stick your dick in this or nothing, did you? Gosh, I got two more up here. Who did that? There's two crazy nymphomaniacs back there, probably. <laughs> you turn on the radio in, in Scottsdale, you get news, weather, and sports. In Newport Beach, you turn on the radio all up and down the coast, you get news, weather, sports, and a thing they call the surf report. If you've ever been in L.A., you hear this radio on the radio. It's delivered by these kids with an IQ level about a grade lower than bean dip. <laughs> these surfer kids are like, this is Scott in Santa Monica. <laughs> Party! The waves are three to four feet and they're really radical. So come on down and catch some rays. How are things in Newport? This is Gookie in Newport. Party! The waves are three to four feet and they're almost primo bitching. So come on down and catch some rays. How are things in San Francisco? This is Charles from San Francisco. <laughs> oh, the waves are so gnarly. <laughs> when it gets this rough, my nipples get real sore. <laughs> and my balls get real swollen. It just oh, it scares me. <laughs> so why don't you just come on down and catch some rays? <laughs> or some Bills or some Rogers? <laughs> Ooh. Servers have their own vocabulary, too. Have you noticed that? I don't even think the dictionary can even understand these kids. The other day, I looked up the word primo and said, see, bitchin'. Mm. <laughs> they always play guitars. They haven't got guitars. They call it air guitar. I saw this kid at the mall. I said, what do you do this for? He says, because I love rock and roll, dude. They said, I love Bo Derek. <laughs> I don't walk around, yeah! Hey, 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 hey! It's called air fucking, I guess. <laughs> you can do this at the mall all day long. You walk around, yeah! You're going to jail. <laughs> what are you in here for, kid? Air fucking. <laughs> My brother always goes to pornographic movies. You people go to pornographic movies? <laughs> He's got his hands in his lap. Yeah, I go all the time. <laughs> you know what kind of movie we're talking about, right? You gotta be 18 or accompanied by a trench coat to get into something. <laughs> and let's face it, it really takes some low life. Degenerate. 
sleazeball, scumbag, dirt of the earth individuals. <laughs> to even want to see a film like this, huh? <laughs> So like I was in one yesterday. <laughs> so I'm watching this film, very entertaining film, very educational film. First pornographic movie ever made in 3D. Not a pretty picture. You gotta let your mind wander here a bit on this one, folks. <laughs> pornographic movie in 3D. <sighs> Some guy had an orgasm and it was like, I'm taking these glasses off, man. <laughs> you can have all the popcorn. I don't want this shit. <laughs> You're a sick group, and I appreciate that in the crowd. So I'm watching this film. And I know that the patron sitting in front of me was next to an inflatable doll. <laughs> I was thoroughly disgusted. <laughs> I could not believe a man would bring an inflatable doll to a pornographic film. <laughs> I was so disgusted, I grabbed my sheep and I said, honey. <laughs> Let's get the flock out of here. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I did it for you. <laughs> A lot of motels now are offering rated X movies. Motels call it closed circuit TV. Which is a title that scares me, should scare you folks too. I'll tell you why. It's like if I'm watching a movie in room six, how do I know that I'm not the movie in room seven? Would it be embarrassing the next day in the parking lot? <laughs> hey, aren't you Bronco Bob? Man? I'd like to meet the person who writes pornographic movies. Now, there is one sick individual. How do you write a pornographic movie? These things have no plots to them. A lady walks into Kmart to buy a toothbrush and figures, while I'm here, why don't I blow somebody? Never happens when I'm in Kmart. I'd be there right now. <laughs> Attention Kmart shoppers. <laughs> We're having a blue light special at blowjob department. <laughs> you guys can't pass up a sale, dear. <laughs> you got mop up aisle nine, mop up aisle nine. <laughs> I got kicked out of Kmart. <laughs> kicked out of Kmart. That's worse than being fired from McDonald's. <laughs> they called me up when they said, we're sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> but you have insufficient funds to cover these checks. I said, I know that. <laughs> If I had enough funds to cover those checks, I'd have paid cash. <laughs> didn't take too many brains to figure that one out, didn't it? Did you ever get these guys' beneficial finance call you up? Now, there's some major leaguer painter. <laughs> these guys are dedicated. They'll call you up 7 o'clock in the morning. It's like, John, we just don't know what we're going to do. Either we have a payment in here by the 30th, or we just don't know what we're gonna do. 
Now, what's beneficial finance worth? A couple hundred zillion dollars? <laughs> I don't come up with 1850 by Friday? He doesn't know what the fuck he's gonna do. <laughs> so I gave him a couple ideas. <laughs> I said, listen, friendly Bob. <laughs> At the end of the month, I put all my bills in a hat and I have a raffle. <laughs> the ones that get picked, get paid. <laughs> you keep screwing around, you're not even gonna get in a hat next month. <laughs> Dating's a lot of fun. Double dates are weird. You know I know it's not double dates? Now for those of you people on a double date tonight, I'm sure you'll find this out before the evening's over. The rest of you'll find out sometime in your life. If you don't already know, how come is it on a double date when a woman has to go to the bathroom? Boom, they both got to go. <laughs> now maybe it's magic. I don't know. <laughs> you never see two guys go together. You never hear like, Chuck. <laughs> Let's go take a piss. <laughs> See, when guys get in the bathroom together, you know what we're doing, huh, guys? <laughs> Comparing. <laughs> That's right, girls. You ask any guy in this room, he's lying, he's dying. But you get five guys lined up against that urinal. I don't care if you got the Pope, the President, and three Boy Scouts. <laughs> They're checking it out. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, I don't like to brag. Boom! <laughs> you could pound nails with this son of a bitch. <laughs> You guys want to help me ring it out down there? <laughs> how come you never hear women bragging how big they are? <laughs> you never see a bunch of girls at a picnic someplace going, Apple. <laughs> it's a wonder my guts don't fall out. his Timex up there last week. When it fell out, it was still working. It took a dick and it's still ticking. Did you find a watch recently or something? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, the guy back there didn't have one on, so I don't know. <laughs> but guys do brag. You ever brag about yours? <laughs> you probably can't see yours in a week. <laughs> He's got to put his finger in his butt for his dick to pop out. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Told you I had one. <laughs> now stay, goddammit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> In fact, before I did this, ladies and gentlemen, I was a house painter for five years. Five years. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever finish that fucking house. <laughs> before I did that, let you people know that I was a responsible human being. At one time in my life, I used to be a school teacher. Had a bunch of little fourth graders there, pretty good class. I told them one day, I said, let me give you guys a chance for a day off of school. They were really excited. They were seeing their desk with anticipation in their eyeballs. I said, I'm going to tell you kids a phrase. You tell me who said that phrase, what year that phrase was said, you got Monday off school. So I looked at the class and said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. <laughs> and no one knew the answer. Said so this one little Japanese boy way in the back, he's just waving his hand. I said, Yashimoto. <laughs> Because that was his name. <laughs> he 
they stood up very proudly. He said, most honorable, 36th President John F. Kennedy, 1960. I said, very good. You have Monday off of school. Enjoy it. I looked at the rest of the class and said, aren't we a little ashamed here? <laughs> <laughs> we have been American citizens all of our lives, and no one, no one! You know the answer to this phrase? This Japanese boy has been in our country for two years. Two years! <laughs> and he knew the answer was like that. They all should be a little shamed. <laughs> I turned around, went back to my desk, and one of the kids says, fuck the Japanese. <laughs> I said, who said that? <laughs> Little boy says, Lee Iacocca, 1980, see you Tuesday. This has been one of the hottest comedy shows I've ever seen. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Anyway, here's some home movies from my own personal files. In fact, I could do all kinds of great comedy. Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, this 